Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> so I was talking with uh, one of my best friends, and I do this thing uh, every time that uh, I, like, you know, meet somebody, um, where I say, yo, 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 yo. And then uh, I'll, you know. So anyway, I was thinking that it would be pretty funny to do that as, like, an intro video. Um, I may need to take off my glasses because it's getting super, uh, super glary. Um, but to make that sort of like the... The, uh, the intro. And I'm just going to check on you levels too. This is just a test stream. I'm not actually going to like keep this on. So, uh, you know, this is a test stream. A lot of crap has happened tonight. <laughs> so, uh, just a little backstory. I was, uh, attempting to test out an Elgato game capture. It failed miserably. Uh, my MacBook is like five years old, uh, and it was way too slow to do the game capture. Uh, I put up this lovely green ski screen behind me um, a couple days ago, and so I had a PS4 camera come in, and I was really super pumped about having that, um, but I couldn't get the, uh, the Elgato capture to, you know, sort of work, and I literally had been playing with it for like about two hours, and I just got so frustrated, um, because my MacBook couldn't like process anything, um, and so, I am pleased to announce that uh, I am here, I have my PS4 camera, I'm showing up on the screen, and I'm super pumped. Uh, and so I hope that you guys enjoy this, like, Sims 4 Let's Play. Um, now, I butchered the intro <laughs> to this video because I was trying to figure out, like, a good, like, little introduction for, you know, whatever video that I'm going to be putting out for that day. Um, absolutely butchered it. Absolutely butchered it. Uh, but, I'm gonna keep this video on YouTube, because I think it's, like, funny, and I think people will get, like, a good, like, laugh out of it. Um, so, I hope all you guys who are watching, you get to see my lovely face, and we're gonna make a Sims family tonight, and we're gonna play with the Sims family. So, new game. What should we, uh, if anybody's watching on YouTube... What should we name this family? Mm -hmm. Should we name them the Clementines? Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, let's do adult. Mm. Oh, I don't want to do the questionnaire. Yeah. I did that one time. It failed miserably. Okay. All the paws. My all the paws. So let's do. A dude and for his walk style I want him to walk like he's got some money so we'll give him the money walk um, his voice sounds fine to me should make his voice a little sweet oh that's like super loud or super loud um, let's see I always like this like knowledge trait because it works really well anytime you're trying to like build a skill. Um, I don't even know if you guys can like see my hands. I talk with my hands like a lot. Um, so we'll do that, but I think I'll do the Renaissance. Yeah, that sounds like a good one. And I want to make like a funny Sims playthrough, so maybe we could go do something that's like. You know, he's, like, mean. Um, and let me, like... Okay. Let's see. I know you guys can't see this. But let's make him, like, crazy. Yeah, unpredictable. Yeah, yeah let's make him, like, nutso. Like, very nutso. Um... What the heck is this free game? Reject consumerism and prefer to reduce wasteful spending. 
Uh, we are going to be playing on the Eco Lifestyle map, though. Because I got that the other day. We'll make him evil, so he's like super <laughs> mean. Um, and... Let's see... Let's make him super mean. Yeah. Alright. So, for the name... I think we should call them the Clementines, unless somebody else has like a different idea. Clementine. Okay, and first name... Hmm. I kind of like Giovanni. That's the name of my car. Um, okay. I have this like weird like obsession with my car. Um, I'm actually gonna like move my camera because I cannot see a daggum thing. Let's see, event settings, video. Let me go into the. Yep. Bam. Okay. All right, so I moved my little camera down. All right, so we've got Giovanni Clementine. He is obviously super excited to to be in this game, but we've got to like give him somebody to hang out with. So let's add a sim. Let's see, add new sim. <clears throat> that took a little bit. Amiga boy. Oh, she's super cute. <laughs> Okay, so, her last name's obviously going to be Clementine, because I'm going to make them married. Mm. Uh, anybody want to give me a first name? Mm. Zarkini well, her and like a very voice. high. They're complete opposites. Mm -hmm. So he's super mean, super evil, <laughs> but she's going to be like the nicest person in the world. She's good natured. <laughs> Let's see, I have like my MacBook in front of me. I'm like trying to like crane my neck to see. Um, uh, let's see here. Cheerful, that's a good one. <laughs> still late, still late. <laughs> and what else should we do? I want to make her a snob. She's supposed to be like a good person. They have one that's like likes children. Childish could be kind of cool. Um, I like never stream this late. I got so pumped when I figured out how to get the PS4 camera to work. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream tonight, even though I literally just streamed for like three hours earlier. I guess we'll give her like. Because they're obviously going to hate each other. I mean, someone who's evil and someone who's nice. Just, it isn't going to work. Maybe we could just make her, like... I don't know. Family-oriented, I guess? Oh, excellent. Let's do that. Okay, so. Oh, i got to give her a first name. Anybody got a first name for me? Huh? Anybody? Any takers? I guess we could do randomize, or we could do something uh, kind of wacky. Like maybe we could. What's the? Our, so our guy's name is Giovanni. How about we name this girl Lola? Lola Clementine. I think that's a fantastic well, bizarre. idea. It's a Roy. Okay. And then, how do you do the relationship? It's been so long since I've done this. No. I can't remember how to like... Because I want to put them in a relationship. Huh. Edit relationship. There we go. We got it! Alright. Let's play. So the Clementine household is ready to play. And we're
are we gonna put them? So we can play on the eco lifestyle map, but I'm thinking that maybe we could put them on one of the regular maps. Um, but no, let's just put them on the eco lifestyle map. That'd be fun. And it just got super bright all of a sudden. Um, and let's see, they got what, 22,000? I guess we could put them over here. I'm gonna bulldoze, like, whatever they're in. We could make them live in an apartment. But we do this, but we don't furnish the house. But yeah, we want to bulldoze the lot. We'll bulldoze the lot, and then we'll build a beautiful house. Um, out of shipping containers. That sounds like a good idea. What do you guys think? I was kind of worried that the the glare would run off of my glasses, but it looks fine. I gotta remember to like look up at the camera though, so I can you can see my beautiful eyes. Okay. So my favorite part of The Sims 4 is building. I love building houses. Um, even though it gets super laggy when you like first get into build mode. Okay, so build. Oh, I'm just so pumped about this. Okay, so I'm thinking we could probably start off. I don't want this to look like just any ordinary house. I want it to look kind of cool, you know, kind of different. I want them to have like a unique house. And so I think I'll start them off with something like that, but I want like the entrance to be like on the side. So maybe we'll give them something like that. I also have to be very conscious of the budget because I only have twenty thousand dollars. Not a lot of money in Sims. Uh, okay, so we got that. Maybe we could like run this up just a little bit and then have it come over some more. Um, and sort of what I like to do also with The Sims is I like to sort of visualize like the houses, like or excuse me, the rooms um, in the house. And with the Eco Lifestyle Pack, you get all these really cool doors um, that give you build discounts. Um, so I love this little like so I'm a big fan of like monochromatic like design schemes uh, so I love like black and white like everything um, and there's this really really pretty uh, white color let's see is this it? it looks gray on my screen but I think this is it I'm gonna change the outside paint. I'm not leaving it with this like plaster color. Um, okay, so back to actually building the house. So I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool. They like walk in, right? And then maybe there's like a bench or something right here, or like a bookshelf. You've got the little like living room area, so I might put like a TV or something right there. Um, and I think this would be perfect for a kitchen. Uh, but we'll like include the dining room in it too, because it's like pretty big. So maybe we'll go like diagonal like that. Um, so I think that's a pretty decent sized kitchen. I'm gonna like take these walls down, but I'm I'm doing it like this so that I can visualize like what it's supposed to look like. And that's way too small of a living room, so I'm glad I did that. Um, but let's see. I think that'd be a decent sized little like living room area. I may even want to like pull this like part in just a smidge. That may be too big. Perfect. Um, so let's go back and let's add. I'll probably put some stairs up here because this is definitely going to be a two-story house. Although I guess I guess I could add a bedroom and stuff over here because they'll probably want something 
I'm a big fan of like angled like rooms and stuff. That'd be a beautiful master bedroom. No, just like that. Plenty of room. And just for a little like extra pizzazz, we'll throw the bathroom over here. Perfect. So we've got like living room area right here. We've got a good kitchen and dining room combo right there. The master bedroom and the master bathroom. Um, but I actually, now that I'm like looking at this, I want to pull this and make it just a little bigger and a little wider too. There we go. I think that's a decent size. Um, okay. So now that we've got the general sort of layout of the house. Let's start decorating and put some doors inside. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and I generally like with this sort of like pack, like I will like to use the eco lifestyle pack when I'm like building a house that's like gonna go in like the eco lifestyle like world. Um, and one of the ones that I like, and it's kind of ugly to most people, <laughs> uh, but I really like it. I think it looks kind of cool. Is this like, it kind of looks like a closet door almost. Uh, and so I will put, and it's kind of wonky like how it does it, but basically like where you put it, the, the shelf that I call the little outside goes on the other part of the uh, house. So I'll do it like that. That looks Beautiful, beautiful. So, let's get some lights up in this mug, right? Because it is so dark in this house right now. So, lighting, and we're going to get some ceiling lamps. But I don't want to use the Eco Lifestyle ones, because they're not good. I like my Subtle Saucer Light. Subtle Saucer Light is bay. Uh, so, that in there, that in there, that in there, just to light up the whole, just give it lots of light so it's beautiful and, you know, you just see everything. Okay. Now, you're about to see what I mean by, like, I love monochromatic, like, themed everything. Um, because I'm about to take this, like, house... And I'm going to turn it into a genuine work of art. And you might be thinking, how in the world are you going to do that? Well, I will show you. Um, so I love using hardwood in the houses. And I absolutely love using black hardwood. Um, so I think I'm actually going to use this. Is that going to be dark enough? Yeah. I'll probably like... I'll use a different one for the bathroom. Okay, so I always like to decorate the kitchen first because the kitchen is like probably the most expensive room. And here we go. So let's get this one, but we want black. And let's see, where would be a good spot to put a fridge? Probably right here, I'd imagine. Hmm. Well, we could do that. I think we should make the dining room over here and make this part the actual like kitchen area. I think that would work, but we'll put the fridge on the side. Okay, and how about a stove? This one will do. Black stove. And always remember, what happens when you don't put a fire alarm in there? That's right, you don't put a fire alarm, your sims are going to burn. And that could be fun or not fun, depending on how much time you spent uh, fixing up their characters, which for us wasn't very long at all. And one of my favorite ones, I really like this one, but I love this. 
Look how gorgeous those countertops are. I mean, come on, guys. So good, so good. And I love long countertops. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. So good. All right, so what else we have in here? Well, we need a sink, right? I mean, how are they gonna wash dishes? How are they gonna wash their hands if they don't have a sink? So let's do this one, but that's right, you guessed it, black. All right, and we'll put the sink over here. Actually, I have a really good idea. Well, I don't know that it would work. It might work if we put it here. So I always like to put a sink right next to a window so that when they're washing the dishes, they can look outside at how beautiful everything is. But there's a small problem. <laughs> If we were gonna put the uh, the window right here, because they would just be looking out at garbage the whole time, and I don't really think that's a good idea. So we'll put it we'll put it over here. Now I could like move this up some. I think I might actually do that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but we're gonna put a window right in front of that sink in just a little bit as soon as we finish uh, filling out the rest of the house. So let's go to dining room. We get them a nice black table. Um, what is this one? Um, it doesn't look like it gives me any discount on anything. Let's see. I really like this one, but it might be a little too expensive. But we'll see. I could also do like a... Uh, since it's only two people living in the house, I mean, I could probably just, you know, spend a little extra money. Like, it'll be fine. Although, I can already tell it's going to, they're going to run out of money. So, might need to figure something out pretty quick. And then sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I like to just put a little pop of color. So, I might make maybe two of them red. Um, that looks kind of tacky. I'll do some, uh, <clears throat> some clutter. So I think there's like a, there's like a red rose that you can put like on top of the table. Yeah, this. That's what I wanted. I can't do that though. Sam. <clears throat> Get this like bowl of fruit. Look at that. I love adding these little things to what beautiful beautiful one of my friends that watches my streams all the time Emma is gonna be so pumped that I am uh, doing a Sims 4 uh, playthrough she's gonna be so so pumped oh, they have a Christmas tree I like that if this uh, family is anything like my family, we have our Christmas tree up 24-7. So why not? We'll throw a Christmas tree in the middle of the kitchen. I'm just kidding, that looks kind of tacky. We'll put it in the living room now. We'll just save that for later. Let's see. That might be a little too close. I like the placement of that. That looks good to me. Alright. So, what's the next most expensive place in the house? Yeah, that's right. The bathroom. Um, because toilets are expensive, y'all. Toilets are very expensive. Um, we'll just get something. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I actually like to put the toilet right here. <coughs> Just because, uh, you know, somebody's like opening up the door, right? You know, let's just say that the door is right here as you walk in. And you open the door. 
you know, the door is right there where the toilet is, so you don't have to watch anybody when you're walking into it. But maybe they could be like, whoa, 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 there's somebody in here. You know, just a thought, just a thought. Okay, so let's get us a nice little sink. We'll just do something cheap. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. We'll put the sink right there. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Um, I'm not a huge fan of any of these showers. Um, if I'm being quite honest, because they're all break down so easily. I'm kind of like... Ugh kind of tempted to like spend a little extra extra monies <laughs> and uh, buy a nicer one so that they don't have to fix it up as much but we'll make them fix it up what's the difference in these I mean they got the same reliability so let's just throw that in there we're on a budget we gotta do this on a budget okay so that's that, but we gotta put some like tile down. I always use tile in the bathrooms. I don't know if that's normal or not. Uh, I've always had tile in my bathrooms. Could you imagine putting carpet in the bathroom? <laughs> You'd be walking around on like soggy carpet the entire time. Ugh, it'd probably stink too. Yikes. All right, let's see. Cool as a cucumber. I kind of like this marble. Black. Mmm, look how sexy that looks, y'all. Mmm, that looks so good. Alright, what is the next most expensive place in the house? That's right, the bedroom. Gotta get that nice bed, or your sims are just gonna be tired all the time. Um, I really like this one, but it doesn't look that much different. What is this eco bed? This looks really nice. It's expensive though. Nice. Ew. Maybe we'll just get them something kind of cheap. Oh, this literally says like uncomfortable. Yikes. Alright, how about we do something like that? That works, right? Not a fan of that color though. Ugh. I do not like brown, even though literally everything in my room is brown. Wasn't my choice. My parents got it for me. I kind of like this. That looks better. That's like a darker, like brown with some like blue. Um, and let's see. We can get them like a little end table, although they might not have enough money for an end table. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Very rustic. But no, I think I think this will be fine. It's like the same like espresso brown. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Uh, maybe we could get on like a little dresser too. Oh shoot, I still got to do windows. Okay, we don't have that much money, so we gotta we really gotta like really gotta like work with this a bit okay so let's finish up the living room because guys you cannot play sims without a tv it just doesn't work it just don't work okay let's get this tv oh that is so small what about that yeah they'll love that and we gotta live on the cheap, so let's get us like a really cheap little sofa. What's the what's the cheapest like comfort two sofa that they have? Oh, comfort three. Okay. Um, we could do this one. That looks nice. Oops, I meant to pick white. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's nice. They're gonna love that. Alright, so, I guess we don't really need this part of the house, but I kind of like it because it gives the house a little bit more definition, uh, but maybe we could like shrink this back just a hair to save a couple extra uh, dollars. 
and roofs. So, I like these, uh, no, that's not the roofs I'll use. I use these. Oh, it's so nice. So, we're going to give them a bit of a modern looking house. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. You're like, whoa, that's like way too big. Just have a, have a little bit of patience. We're going to make this look so nice. I'll have to, like, show you guys some other day. Um, one of my other really nice houses that I built. Because um, I, I did the same, like, roof style, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Alright. Put that right there. Bam, look at that. So nice. So we're just going to copy this right on over. Let's see, put that right there. Perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. Uh, and we could maybe do it the same slanted way. It's probably going to give some of y'all like OCD like fits that I'm <laughs> putting one that's like the other way around. I have OCD too, but sometimes I just, I learn to control it, you know? If you don't, if you don't control your OCD, your OCD will control you, and then life is not fun. Alright, so, this looks like it's like pretty, pretty long. Oh, there we go, that looks much better. Much better. All right, what do y'all think about that? I think that looks dumb. I think we should, <laughs> I think we should uh, turn that back this way. There we go. Oh, it looks so much better, right? Although I don't like the way this is like looking. I don't know. I like that either. Alright, we'll do that for now. Okay, so roof patterns. Mm. I really like... So, they give you a lot of new roof patterns in uh, the Eco Lifestyle. But I really like this like solar shingle look. That looks so nice. Um, but, we could do like Eco Footprint Green. Um or water production. Hmm. Let's stick with the solar panel roof because that'll help on electricity bill. Okay, now outside of the house. I'll be real honest. I don't really like any of the outside of the house uh, sort of um, things, but... I will manage to find something. What about this clean slate? No, oh, that looks ugly. Ugh. Panel to the metal. I mean, I guess we can use this. It's kind of ugly, but I mean, I guess it'll work. I guess that look too bad. Ugh, we're gonna have to fix that roof though. The roof is sticking out like a sore thumb right now. Bam, look at that. Bam. Okay. Let's see here. Roof patterns. Ooh, that looks ugly. That looks like a pea soup. Pea soup. I mean, I guess that could work. Ooh. You see what I mean, though? It just it just does not look good. Uh, whoops. Sure. I mean, I guess we could use this. At least that would somewhat, like, look somewhat decent. Right? That looks somewhat decent. Okay, windows. Ooh, here we go. Big money. About to spend some big money. Okay, so, what I like to do oh, is I like to use these, but I use, like to use the black ones. Uh, oh, hold on, let me turn off. Uh, oops. Let 
Let me turn off the auto windows because I hate when auto windows pops up. I think I'm a pretty good window placer myself. Um, okay, so I want to put this one right there. And then bear with me, I know that's like off-centered and you're probably like, what the heck are you doing? Um, I think it, it just looks off. Ooh, look at that, that looks nice right there. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting rid of this one. Whew. The, the difference was getting on my nerves. There we go. We'll make it even in the front, and then we'll go kind of crazy on the sides. Because we really don't need a whole lot of light in the bathroom. Um, okay, now for the rest of the house. I actually did find a window that I really liked in the Eco Lifestyle pack. Uh, I really like this window uh, with like the black frame. It looks so nice. Um, so, and I go kind of crazy with windows, um, and there, it's just like a random pattern. I don't have a rhyme or a reason behind why I place a certain window where I place the window. Um, but, you can just place them in all kinds of different directions. I mean, look at that. You're probably thinking, man, this guy is nuts. He's just putting windows wherever he wants to. Like, what kind of pattern is this, right? I get it. I get it. I mean, I think I'm crazy. You don't have to convince me. I already know. <laughs> Alright. I wish I could, like, put more of them, like, side by side. It's like messing up with that maybe it has to do with like where I place the window yeah look at that oh check this out y'all what a gorgeous view from that sink right there that's nice see I'm I'm trying to help my sims out I'm thinking thinking through okay how is this gonna look like in real life all right so let's do that oh look at that gorge gorge gorgeous yep now all we have to do is uh fix our uh, space in between the uh, actual walls and the roof tops. Don't forget to do that. Makes a big difference. And can anybody guess uh, what else we're missing? Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little roof trim, potentially. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at that. Look how sleek that looks. Bam! Alright, so another thing that I like to do is I like to make a nice little like walkway. So and do outdoor. I like this like stained concrete. But I don't like dark concrete. That doesn't look good to me. Do I usually use that? That looks kind of ugly, actually. Let me try stone instead. I think stone will look really nice. Ooh, what's this pretty blue? I'm not actually keeping that, but I thought it looked kind of cool. I like this. That's nice. Why don't we, uh, let me put that down. That kind of matches. Look at that. Bam. Okay, now let's put some shrubs down and some flowers. So I kind of do the same sort of like design style um, as I would typically do with my windows. It's just kind of all over the place. Um, so these like dull daisies, 
But I like to have some, like, color, right? I mean, life without color, that's a sad life. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. They get to come home and see the beautiful flowers that are sprouting out of the ground. It's gorgeous. Oh, I didn't want to do another. There we go. Some white daisies, too. Ooh, Passion's Kiss. Look at that. That sounds like, that looks like it would be perfect to go like right in front of this window. Look at that. Some of y'all might be thinking, what the heck is this guy doing? He's putting flowers all over the place. Like, <laughs> can you imagine if I just like put that right there? Like that was Alright, let's move on to the next flower. <laughs> too funny, too funny. Alright, let's see. I want to get some actual shrubs up in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. I think I usually use these azalea flowers. Those are really pretty. Lavender. Oh yeah. I need some more like color variety though in that corner. Um, this pink's a little too much now. Pretty little daisies. Oh, it is like what time is it? It is 11:25, and I am starving right now. I've got me some. Uh, my foot's about to die. Uh, I've got me some lovely ale right here. Some ale of ginger. Um, otherwise known as ginger ale. <laughs> I like woke up the other day, true story, I woke up the other day at 4 a.m., 4 a.m., absolutely starving, and I could go back to sleep, so I had, I had, uh, some, like, uh, the little pretzel ball, like, the little tiny little pretzel balls, I had, like, a handful of those, and I just ate them and went back to sleep. All right. But, oh, we already have some of those. Nope, can't reuse plants. Wild grass. Ooh. Not good, not good. They look like they'd be a llama family, right? <laughs> too much, too much. Alright. I think we need to go back to our flowers. We were doing pretty good with our flowers earlier. Uh, okay, I kind of like the sunrose bush. I have like white. I don't like to have too many colors. Because um, you don't want to be so overwhelming. Like you walk in and it's just like, bam! Like just colors all over the place. I and mean, that can kind of hurt your eyes a bit. Um, let's see. Where's the... I'm looking for like a particular shrub. But it's like a smaller shrub and it's like white oh you know what they don't have enough money y'all all right so i think we're gonna have to get rid of this christmas tree how much money we get it 460 dollars for a christmas tree somebody ripped them off <laughs> somebody ripped them off I don't think we have enough money for all these flowers either. Maybe we'll keep some of them. Yeah, hold on. That uh, that lavender plant was like an eyesore. It was like. And it's kind of sad. You can tell they're poor when they have this huge room and there's like two pieces of furniture in it, like in this living room right here. Um, but you see, you guys, you see what I'm saying about I love like the black and white sort of like theme when it comes to like kitchen stuff. So nice. 
Alright, so I think that is a pretty good house there. How did we do on uh, on monies? $778. Bam. Okay, so we definitely can't put in a fountain, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I think the house looks pretty nice. Um, I maybe have way too many windows over here. Let me get rid of one of these windows. $25? That's a cheap window. I kind of want to put this like a little off center. Yeah, look how nice that is. And I'll move this one over. It's cool because it doesn't match. That's Sims. That's Sims life. It's cool because it doesn't match. That's how I that's how I live my life. I don't know if you guys live your life like that. Alright, so I think that is a terrific place to stop our live stream. But do not fear, because I play The Sims 4 all the time, so we will for sure have another live stream where we take a look at the Clementine family. We gotta get them jobs, because they have $803. Um, and we get to see the dynamic between Giovanni, who is a mean guy, and Lola, who is a very nice gal. So... I hope you guys will join me next time uh, as we continue on our Clementine playthrough. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll join us again. Uh, but stick around. We'll probably on. We'll probably be playing on Saturday, I'd imagine. Uh, but if you subscribe to the channel, you will figure out every time that we stream because I put little like reminders and stuff of like all our little streams. Uh, we have Resident Evil 4 stream tomorrow. I know that's a very big contrast from the, from The Sims 4. Resident Evil 4 and The Sims 4, two very different games. Uh, but if you like spooky, scary stuff and uh, you like how kind of spastic and crazy I am, then you'll probably want watching me play Resident Evil 4 and getting good jump scares like every now and then. Uh, so definitely like join us for that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.